Right, well, here's an imposing house. Yes, it was probably built as a townhouse in the mid-18th century. And it's a house again now, but it's been a lot of other interesting things in between, hasn't it? Indeed it has, including a role as a dispensary. It opened it as a dispensary in 1857, and then in 1868 it became Monmouth Hospital and Dispensary, with nine beds. Wow. Well, it seems to have worked very well as a hospital. Um, this, this, listen, this is part of a report from Sir James Paget, who was surgeon extraordinary to Queen Victoria, and he inspected it in 1873, and he said, It is one of the most convenient and best ventilated and arranged institutions I have ever seen. Well, that's quite a recommendation. But there were problems, like the lack of an operating theatre and some pretty awkward stairs to negotiate. Well, yes. Those problems convinced the authorities that a new hospital was needed, so it was closed in 1903. But the old dispensary was soon back in use. Well, yes, because in 1907, some nuns, the French sisters, were running a private school with boarders and day pupils. It sounds an interesting syllabus they had. French, music, painting, drawing, needlework and general education. Not long after, a children's home was established here, and that continued right up to the end of the 20th century. Yeah, it was in 2001 that the building reverted to its original use as a private house. <laughs>